One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, one, two, one, two, one, two. Can you hear me, guys? Hello, yes, there I am. Okay, we're about to start in just a few minutes. One, two, one, two. Why is it not moving? Why is this thing not moving? Okay. Good evening. Hello. Okay, guys, we're just waiting for the rest, if you can hear me. Okay. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, Madeline. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Always, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Are you happy? I'm happy as usual. Very happy. I'm glad to hear that. So, um, can you hear me well? No. No, you cannot hear me. <laughs> ah, yes. yes, I can hear you, but the, I thought you you told me. I don't see, I don't feeling well. Ah, what oh. happened? Are you sick? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello, good evening. my friend, good Alicia. Evening. Hello, Alicia. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Alicia, good evening. How are you? I'm great. And you? <laughs> I'm doing awesome, too. I'm great. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay, uh, can you see me well? Yes. Okay. How's the lighting? And so too much light. Bit. Yes, too much light, maybe. Oh, this is weird, you know. This is an HD camera. Mm. So I'm trying to get used to this camera. If you notice, I actually painted my room. No, okay. no, don't oh. move. Yeah, you see? Don't move, teacher, I, I, don't move. I just, I just changed everything here around, mm. you know. I'm in my room. You see? No, <laughs> and what I just you? I just configured everything. This is the desk. Ah. There you are. You see? Yeah. Say hello. <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. Hello. <laughs> so I'm very excited, but the problem is that I need to I need to get used to it because my monitor is on the top, so Ah, okay. But are you okay with that? Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. looking at I'm looking at your face right now. Okay. Okay, okay, that's weird, right? But if I get closer, you can mm -hmm. see my mouth. Okay, good guys. So let's see, how many are we right now? We're seven. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, teacher. Hello, Elvis. Elvis Avrigo. No, okay. Arabella, good evening. Patricia. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay. Okay, guys, today we're going to jump through the content on the platform because there's a lot of things that we need to cover, okay? Let's start. Let's start with this. So, back on Friday, the last thing we did was to talk about a conversation, if I'm not wrong. Is that right? Yeah. Conversation with, with, with you or no? No, 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 no. <laughs> We had a conversation between two people, but right in the middle, there was another conversation, remember? Look yes. at the screen. It says, uh, okay, can somebody help me? Yes. Can somebody help me reading? 
mix the conversation. Yes, please. Yes. Okay. All the conversation or just with. Please. Let me go with Beatriz. Beatriz is talking, right? Beatriz and Alicia. Okay. Okay. Let me start if you want. Okay. Okay. Hey, Gina. Oh, I sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. There you go. Go. <laughs> okay. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in age. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Let's let's look at these words, okay? Ages. 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 Very good. Ages. There you go. Then the next one is pursuing. 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 Mm -hmm. Pursuing. Pursuing. Per. Pursuing. There you go. Pursuing. Okay, where's the where's the stress? Where is the stress in that word? Pursuing. Pursuing. Mm -hmm. Pursuing. 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 There you go. Okay. Career. 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 Very good. Next one will be graduated. 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 Okay, good. Graduated. Good. I'm almost, listen, I'm almost, I'm almost. I'm almost. I'm almost. Almost. Now let's put it together. I'm almost out of money. 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 That's the way you say it, right? When you when you feel that you run out of money, you go like, I'm almost out of money. Oh my God. Yes. It's critical. Okay. Good. Very good. So let's go to the second part of the video, which there is a conversation. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Okay, what has happened between Pete and Gina? Can somebody remember? Hmm? Mm. There, there are two, um, they are friends and they, they have, they haven't not seen in many years. And they haven't seen each other. They haven't yes, seen each other. They haven't seen each other uh, many years ago, and they, they, se encuentran both. Uh, they teacher? find themselves. They. They find the, find themselves. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they haven't seen each other in many years. Okay. They or, haven't seen seen each other. In many years. Okay, first option. Second option, they haven't seen each other since long time ag ago. Okay. Since, since ago. Since ago. ago. You got it, since Alicia? Ago. So you, okay. you, you use since with ago, since long time ago. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay, let's move on. Uh, then we have a second audio. So let's pay attention to the audio, not the video this time, okay? I will just share my audio with you, not the video. How long did I used to do that? Here it is, position of screen, music on computer only. Okay, there you go. Please write your answer on our discussion box. Okay. Part B. Can you hear? Yeah. Okay, good. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Bob, how's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's 
terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Okay, you want me to play it again? Again. Yes, no? Yes, again, please. Okay, <laughs> do it again. Okay, let's do it again. Please pay attention. We want you to listen to the following. B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Okay. If you notice, that was very simple, actually. Nice. Um, can somebody tell me what was going on? What were the characters' names? Um, and there are two friends. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he asked ask her, uh, the, the woman, uh, what, about, what about you? Uh, and she told him, I, I am vacation in Italy. And, I say what is uh, all is great, all is great. I I like it, all. but uh -huh. I can no more. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, very good. Somebody else? Someone else? Come on, guys! Don't be shy. Okay. Uh, some friends uh, meet each other. They haven't seen them in a while. Uh, they ask, what have they been doing? So the guy, the man, responds that he was looking for a house. She, he found one last month because he's tired of renting. And then he asked her, what about her? Mm -hmm. And she responds that uh, she just got from back, she, she just got to the United States, I suppose. Go back, uh, she, she just got back. She just she got just back, just... okay, okay. From? Be from Italy, uh, she was around Milan. Perfect, and thank you. He, she has, she has a, a cause in there, uh -huh. and, she's, and she just got engaged with a guy he met in Milan. Excellent. Very good, Max. Thank you. So Max made a, a recap of the audio, basically. That was great. Now, let me select somebody else. Let's see. Um, Adolfo, what was the question they were using to ask each other about their um, past actions? It's uh, uh, the question is uh, uh, what you you been up to the <laughs> that's the one you that's the one that I make to you that's the question I make to you every every class what have you been up to ah uh, so what 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 it's... you doing uh, late lately you you almost late. got it you almost got it Beatriz did you get it. What did you do before the class? Uh -huh. no, no, that was the previous question. But on the audio, 
on the video, uh -huh. what was the question that they kept asking among themselves? Oscar, Ninive? You didn't get it? Okay. They said, what have you been doing lately? What have you been doing? I think they say lately. Let's see. So what have you been doing? Uh, can somebody tell me, uh, Jennifer or Anabella, can you tell me what is the grammar tense used? Mm -hmm. What is the grammar tense being used? I cannot see well. You cannot see it? Okay. It's too small. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think it's present perfect. Okay. Yeah, it looks like present perfect, right? Up to here. Present you... perfect continues. Yes. Then you have the ing. So that is what we're doing right now. How do you use the present perfect continuous? It's very similar to the present perfect, but the structure changes a little bit. Let's see. Let's talk about the, the formula, okay? So how do you make a positive statement with present perfect continuous? And I'm going to write it here. This is present perfect continuous. We will see more in detail in just a little, but let me give you the formula. So first you need a subject, guys, and then um, you need the auxiliaries have, okay, been, okay, the past participle of the verb to be. So you have subject, have been, and then the verb, okay, the verb in present participle. It's not called the ing verb, it's called present participle, okay? Present Good? Plus some sort of complement, okay? That's the positive. Okay, so let's replace this. Can somebody help me replacing this? Iris? I can hear myself. Okay, Iris, can you try giving me an example following this structure? Um, I'm not sure, uh, really, teacher, I'm sorry. Okay, Oscar, can you replace each particle on the formula? Give I me have, a, okay, I, subject. I. I. Give me one second. Okay, so you have I have been have been uh huh working all the day. Okay, um, let's use the whole day. Okay. Okay. All, all is used with plurals. Okay. Okay. All days. All days. The whole day. El día completo, right? Okay. Whole day. I have been working the whole day, says Oscar. Okay. Let's leave that as an example. Let's go with a negative sentence. Okay. Let me keep going with a negative sentence. Let's see. So for negative, we need to start with, really? Okay. We need to start with a subject again. Then we're going to add have and this will be my auxiliary verb have okay so and here i will add the neglection okay the negative part by saying not then i respect this i need been and the verb in ing again in respect of part, yes, all the term. Okay, plus again, some sort of complement. So, see, I respect the formula. Subject, have not, or haven't, or if I have a third person. Can somebody tell me what are the third persons? 
Has. Has, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can say haven't or hasn't. Mm -hmm. Hasn't. Haven't. Okay. Um, hmm. Arabella, Elvis, can you please give me an example of a negative sentence? Yes, teacher. I have been. I have been. Negative. I haven't been. Negative. I have. A, I haven't been in the United States. I haven't been. Okay, in the United States. In the United States. There is where. Let's say yeah. you. That is present perfect. Okay, that is present perfect. Nive, can you try it? Okay, Ninive, can you hear me? Alicia? Okay, I Ninive. Ninive is okay. Maybe I haven't been working in this month. Okay, I haven't been working this month. I don't need the preposition the in in in. I don't need it. Oh, okay. There. Okay. Good. Perfect. Okay. Why are you thinking about? Richard. Hello. Again, please. Again, please. I have been eating in I eating uh, uh, sushi. Uh, sorry. Uh, sushi. 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 Sushi food. Sushi. Okay. I haven't yeah. been I eating have, sushi. Uh -huh. I haven't been eating sushi, yeah. okay? Yeah, that's another example, very good. I haven't been eating sushi, same thing. Okay, let's go with another one. Let's go with the question. Okay, so for the question, we're gonna start with the auxiliary. What's the auxiliary, I said? What? Nope. How? Have. It's how. How. Have or? Has. Has. And then what do I need? Having. The subject. It's a question. Subject. Subject. Exactly. Yeah, I need a subject. Okay, and then what? Being. Mm -hmm. And then what? And the verb in. I. E. G. The verb in present participle. Okay, and then the. Okay. As simple as that. And then, don't forget this guy. Don't forget this guy, the question mark. Okay. Uh, let's go with dun, 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 dun. Madeline. Tell me. <laughs> Madeline, make me a uh, question. Can you try? A question. question? Um, have you been working in the afternoon? Okay, good. The auxiliaries have, so I have, oh God, have you been working in the afternoon? In the afternoon? Okay. I will take that. Very good. Answer the question too? No? Yes, I have been working in the afternoon. Um, by the way, guys, just uh, as general information, your teacher is working from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. right now. Um, here sitting the whole day from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. As I told you before. So if I don't reply to you, it's because I'm busy, okay? I may be busy, okay? Yes, I know. <laughs> don't worry. But, but sometimes I, I still answer, you know, it's okay. So let's go. Uh, this will be, this was positive. Then we have negative and then we have a question. Okay, do you have any questions? Oh, we're missing one, right? To make an open question. I could say add the WH before the auxiliary. In this case, I will say, why have you been working in the afternoon? Why have you been working in the afternoon? Why you are Working again. Mm -hmm. Why have you been working in the afternoon? Yeah, you can see why. That would be the most why? the most logical open question, right? Why? 
Why? Can, can somebody use another WH question? Can you use another WH question with this? What? What, what? Go ahead, do it. What have... Why have... What? Why are mm -hmm. you... What have you been working in the afternoon? Okay, if I say what, remember, ¿qué has estado trabajando en la tarde? Mm, no, ¿qué has estado why trabajando? have you been working in Why? The okay, sí, ¿por qué has estado trabajando en la tarde? So, let's find because... another... Another WH question, come on. Because... Yeah, if you say why, you have where? to reply with this. Where have you been? Yeah, that will make where? sense. Where? Yes. Donde mm. está trabajando? Where? Can I can where? I use when? No, no, no. When? Where? When? When? Okay. When because it's the afternoon. Modify, modify the question. Where have you been working in the afternoon? Okay. If I say where, I shouldn't have to say. Well, yeah. Where have you been working in the afternoon? Oh, at the bank. Yeah. At the bank. Okay. How can I use what? How can I use what? No. What have you? No. What have, what you, have you been doing, doing all, all in your this work? Work? What have you been all doing? Day, what time. no? In the whole work? day. In the afternoon. What have you been doing in the afternoon? I've been, been doing. doing. What's the answer? Doing no oh. working. 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 <laughs> Yeah, what have you been doing in the afternoon? Oh, working. I've been working. I've, look, I've been working. Repeat, I've, I've been working. I've, I've been working. Okay, very good. Working. So if I want to use, uh, let's say, when. Si, sorry, si pregunta en, en qué has estado trabajando. En qué has estado trabajando. Ooh, what have you been working Work, on? Working on. About. No. In the afternoon. About. What have you been working on mm. in the afternoon? Okay. Um, what work. have you been working on in the mm. afternoon? Why, why have you been working on in the afternoon? In the afternoon. En que has estado trabajando en la tarde. Very good. And that's mm. the only mm. exception to the rule where you can use two um, two prepositions together. On, in. Very good. When? Can somebody do a, a question? Max, can you use when on that question? Mm, let me think. Ah, yes, I know. You know? Go ahead, Madeline. Um, uh, when, have you been, when have you been working? That's it. In the afternoon. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that's logical thoughts. Very good, guys. Do you have any questions? Any question? What about? Come on, guys. <laughs> questions, questions. What about? Question. About where have the you names? Where have you been? In... Okay, let's go. We are with the grammar part. Give me Questions. Is everything clear with this grammar? Teacher. Yes. yes um, how do you how do you how do you classify a question with ever? Ever. Have you ever been? Have you okay. ever been? Uh, okay, if you use ever in a question box to be how more do classified. How do you classify it? As an experience. Uh or classified in, in tense, you mean? Uh, yeah. I mean, you can use it in present perfect, present perfect continuous, past perfect, ever. That part, that particle. But ever means um, alguna vez. If you ask, have, have you, you ever? ever have you're you asking ever about ex working, experiences. Yeah. About experiences. In Japan? Have you ever been have to Japan? Ever been Japan? Have you ever been sleeping? until 11 p.m. in the zoo <laughs> have you ever have been you ever sleeping in the zoo uh-huh but be careful have you ever been sleeping 
in the suit. Sleeping. sleeping. Have you ever been sleeping? sleeping. Have you ever slept? Sleeping. That's present perfect. Have you ever slept? Have you ever slept? Mm -hmm. Alguna vez te has dormido on the bus? Have you ever slept on the bus? Yes. yes. Totally. Who doesn't, right? Uh, have you ever been stolen? This is present perfect. Have you ever been stolen? No. No? Oh, my father. Now, listen to the difference. I want you to capture this. And thank you, Max. Have you ever been uh, stolen? Is like, alguna vez te han robado? A no. Ti, a ti. A ti. Have you ever been stolen? In, in the past. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Now, be careful. Porque depende del contexto, se va a entender como que te han robado a ti. O sea, tan guapo uh -huh. que sos, tan bonita que sos. Have you ever been <laughs> stolen? Te han robado. Right? Ojo con el contexto cuando hablamos. Um, have you ever been um, in a robbery? Have you ever been in a robbery? Have you ever been? Yeah, a couple yes? of times. Yeah. You have been in a robbery? Robbery is Not... a verb to me. A robbery. Mm -hmm. What is a robbery? Uh. Un robo, un robo. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. Okay. How do you move this question the to the... So this is present perfect, right? Why is it present perfect, Adolfo? Is... Have... Look at this. Have... You ever... In a robbery. Been. Yeah. Okay. Look at the difference. This is present perfect because present perfect questions are auxiliary, right? Have, subject, okay? Let's forget about ever for now, okay? Been, which is the past participle. And then you have the complement. I have a question. In one second, okay? Uh, have you ever been... In a robbery? No. Participating... Participating in a robbery? No. Okay. So, do you see the difference? Have you ever been participating in a robbery? Mm -hmm. So, first I ask you, ¿Alguna vez has estado en un robbery? En un robo. ¿Alguna vez has estado en un robo? O, I can ask you, have you ever participated in a robbery? Have you ever been participating in a robbery? ¿Alguna vez has estado participando en un robo? Have yes. you ever been participating in a robbery? It's different. First, o sea, a, a ver, yo quiero que me digan ahorita, me perdió, no entendí. Yes, I understand. So say it, say all clear like el acelguate, okay? Es como... yeah, uh, I understand when when you ask, have you ever been in a robbery? Is a now present. Um, Perfect. Perfect. And when you use the participant, it's a uh, present per, uh, continuous. Present perfect continuous or progressive. Yes, it is, the, yeah. it is the same thing. So this guy here makes the difference. Have you ever been participating? Okay. Participating. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue. I just want to make sure that you have this clear. Okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, continuing with Max's examples. Uh, have you ever eaten? Okay. Have you ever eating. eaten? Eaten. Okay. Have you ever eaten uh, chicken soup or chili? Have you ever eaten chili? How do you write chili? Yes, I have. Okay. No. Chili. No, uh, I, I think it's the one from Wendy's, right? With beans and everything, meat. Beans you, and meat. Uh -huh, right. Have you ever eaten chili? Chili? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Have you ever been? Okay, here, here's the difference. Have you ever been eating chili? No, I have. Now, does this make sense? Make sense? Have you ever been eating chili? 
¿Alguna vez has estado been, comiendo? Been at end, please. At, at 3 p.m., for at example. End. Perfect. You have to be more specific. Thank you very much. Teacher, at, at end, at B, been. Oh, thank you. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, have you ever been eating chili at 3 a.m.? Never, forever. So what's the difference? Can somebody tell me what's the difference between the present perfect and the present perfect continuous? Yes, at the, uh, okay, at the first, mm -hmm. you, you told me, uh, have you ever, Eating chili in the time yesterday, last week, last ten years, like different years. In this, in this uh, phrase, have you ever eaten chili at three a.m. at this? At the time is exactly. Yeah, I think. Exactly. Whenever you hear continues. Whenever you hear continuous, it means that this happened at a specific time specific in the time. past. Yes. As simple as that. Okay. Let's see if I can draw. Yeah, so, okay, so let's say that's the difference. If we were to draw a timeline, we will have the present here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about my drawing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, you have the future, and here you will have the past. What are you drawing, teacher? You cannot see it? Uh, no, I don't understand your draw. Ah, sorry. It's not my ah. finger. Okay, so you have past, <laughs> present, future, right? So let's ah, say... Yes, present, future. Okay. okay. The past is just one action here. The past continues, okay, is this right here. It's just a portion of the past. Something that happened in the past, okay? I have been eating, and we continue talking about experiences. Present perfect. Experience. Continues. Okay, so again, present perfect works for experiences. Among this experience, you had some specific times, a length of time. Can somebody explain what I'm saying? Even if you use Spanish, can you explain it? Yes, I understand, but Finish. I don't know my classmates. Classmates? Classmates. Classmates, hello. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to explain it. Maybe I can use Spanish. Yes, uh, please. Aquí. El presente perfecto es una acción que se realiza en el pasado durante cierto tiempo, uh -huh. pero queda en el pasado. Y el, el presente, presente perfecto, perfecto continuo. Ajá, el presente perfecto continuo es una acción que se realiza en cierto punto en el pasado y se va realizando hasta el presente. Por ejemplo, si yo digo no he trabajado desde enero a la fecha, es una acción continua que viene desde enero hasta mm. este día, por ejemplo. Espérame, espérame, espérame. ¿No he trabajado desde enero? No he estado sí, trabajando, perdón. Hay una fecha. Ah, perdón. Es que no, no he estado, estado trabajando. trabajando desde no. enero. Desde enero. Hasta ahí entonces, se entiende es... que aún es seguís en trabajar. Ah, ajá, entonces esa acción viene desde el pasado continuamente hasta el presente. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero el presente perfecto es una acción que se realizó de cierto periodo a cierto periodo. Por ejemplo, mmm, por ejemplo, no he trabajado desde el lunes de la semana pasada. No he trabajando. No trabajé. Hasta, no, oiga, no oiga. trabajé, perdón. Ok, no he estado trabajando. Eso es presente perfecto todavía. I haven't worked. No he trabajado, no he trabajado. No he trabajado. Experiencias en Ajá, el pasado, no para eso no servía el presente perfecto. Ajá. No he trabajado ah, desde okay. lunes, aún continúa hasta ahora. No he ahora. trabajado desde lunes. Uh -huh. Ok, let's put this in context. Ah, um, me, 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 me. 
Sí, me, Max. Con, me confundí en la explicación sobre eso. Uh -huh. Sí, pero yo creo que todos okay. estamos claros en eso, ¿no? Sí. Ok, uh, si usted tiene alguna duda, hable ahora o calle para siempre, por favor. No, mentiras. <risa> sí, me no, yo, entiendo, yo entiendo que el, el present perfect, perfect uh, continuo es como estuve cortando el césped en la mañana. Algo que estuve haciendo durante un periodo de tiempo, pero quedó en el pasado. I was cutting the, the grass. The, the, the grass during the morning. Pero creo que lleva un tiempo específico el pasado. Cuando uno se hace la referencia al pasado el continuo, tiene que ir acompañado de un momento o fecha o periodo específico. Oh, maybe this morning. This morning o en the, yeah. the month, the hour. Y en, el, y en el presente, ajá, en el presente perfecto no es específico, mm. no lleva. Uh -huh. This is the way you say cortar el césped, mow the lawn. I'm getting mow there. The lawn. So, mm. si mow the lawn significa cortar el césped, ¿cómo traduzco lo que dijo Iris a inglés? Vamos. Mow the lawn. That's the let's, verb, let's cortar el césped. Cutting the grass, no. Have she... Ojo, mira la estructura, Oscar. Estuve cortando el césped durante la mañana. Primero identifica si es o no presente perfecto o presente continuo. Sí, estoy... This is past continuous. Past continuous, past continuous. ok. Past continuous. Okay. Yes, okay. Can you try it or past? Alicia, okay. I'm agree. Translate. She has been... She, she has was been, she? she? Ella. Why she? I. I. Ah, sorry. Okay, I. I have been. Ahí no dice have been, o sí. I es have. Punto. Quiero que te risen eso ustedes mismos y digan. I have been. been. No. Okay. okay. Tú, ah, no, I, I have. Was, was. I was. 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 I was. Okay. Mo. No. Mowing. That verb is I was mowing the, the lawn. The lawn. Mowing the lawn. Oh, no, and it's not grass. Mm -mm. What is the difference with the grass? That's the way you say in American. You see? Mowing the lawn. Oh, Mow the lawn. Can you see? Mow the lawn. Lawn. Mow the lawn oh. is cortar el césped. The action. Oh. Thank you. Si no me creen, vean las películas viejas. Mow the lawn, le dicen al esposo a las mujeres. Mow the lawn. Go ahead and mow the lawn. Voy a cortar el césped. Ok. I was mowing the lawn. Ajá. Uh -huh. I was mowing the lawn. We're missing the compliment. During the morning. The Excellent. Morning. Thank you. During the morning. Now let's work with this sentence all together. Think. How can you move this sentence to the present Perfect. I have. What is this? Go, Oscar. Adolfo. I'm sorry. Yeah. I have been moving, mowing the lawn. Well, you went straight. Is that present perfect, guys? Perfect. Perfect. Continuous. continuous. Yes. Continuous. And that verb is, is regular or irregular? Irregular. I'm sorry. No, that's I, which one? Mow. Mow. Is is regular mode. It's regular. Mode. Mode. Help me, uh, Max. I think it's regular. Check it out. I have been okay. I've been mo I've been mowing the lawn during the morning. Can I use during in that sentence? What do you think? Mowing. I've during been mowing the lawn during the morning. Long. So it is. Oh, I have been mowing the lawn during the morning. This is present perfect continuous. Mow. It's the same, but only. No, it's I not see the, same. the different. It's not the same. Been. Have been. It's not the same. I have been. Friends? I will say I've. I have mo. Let's see if the teacher is right. I have mowed the lawn. I couldn't use during in this sentence. I've loaned the mowing. 
I've mowed the lawn during the morning. Let's see if I am right. I have mowed the lawn. Yes. Don't trust, don't trust the teacher. Yeah? <coughs> you see? I've mowed. Let's see. I have mowed the lawn in the morning. I have mowed the lawn in the morning. Teacher. Sorry? It's irregular. Oh, it's regular, okay. right? Uh, no, it's irregular. Irregular? The base oh. form is mow. The past simple is For... mow with, with ed at the end. So it is regular. But... It's regular. But the past participle is mow. Mow. With, mow. with, a, with an end oh. at the end. Oh, really? Yeah, it's irregular. It's irregular. Like that? And, uh, and I can't pronounce it correctly. Come on, that, but it's not taking any, we will see it. Mow, yeah. mow, uh -huh. M-O-W-N. Yeah, that's what I wrote, and it's not taking it, see? That's the one. Oh, it's uh -huh. because, uh, okay. But it should have taken it. I think it's regular, Max. See? I've mowed, we will check it, we will check it right now. Okay, the so. The first principle okay. is with that end at the end. With the end at the end, I will check it. Okay, I have mowed, mowed, okay, let me find verb conjugation. Pay attention, verb conjugation, English verb conjugation. You can go to reverso. It was just M-A-W, no? Wasn't it? Mo, mo, mo. Am I missing the E? M O W. Can't remember the writing. I always forget this word. Okay. M O W. Oh, O W. Hmm. Cut, trim, crop. And now present mode. You see? Present. Part. Present continuous. Present continuous. Present perfect. Here it is. So you have both options, uh, Max. Moan with ED. With ED or with N. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Then it's, huh? it is not irregular. It's strange. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's just like it's, the word. It's regular hey, or hey. it's irregular? How do you put this in past? Is it regular or not? Which one? It's both, actually, uh, a modeling. Stop it. The, vo the verse stop. How do you make it past? Really quick. Stop it. Stop it. What? Did you just add it? E? No, double P, right? Double P. Okay. You have to use double P. Can I do this? Stop it. You see what happens? Stop. Uh, it, it looks familiar, but I don't know. That's British. It's Br <laughs> That's British. So the same happens with moan. Oh. Okay? It's just, you know, British don't like to add ED to every word. They just modify the verb in different ways. Y a veces a ver que algunos británicos te dicen, or they tell you, no, but that's pronunciation, but grammar, grammar wise, they tell you, I did go to church. I did work yesterday. I did clean my room. Easy. Sí. A los británicos ocupan did en las oraciones positivas, Max, en todos, todos, ojo. I did my homework. I did. I, I did do my homework. I, I did do my homework. En, en lugar de decir, Yo I did lo my hice. homework. Ajá, agregan en la auxiliar hasta en el positivo, algunos. O sea que lo anterior fue yo fui a la iglesia. I did go to church. En lugar de I es went que, to church. Es no como que se estuvieron perros. respondiendo. Sí. I understand I went to the church. You understand like I went to church. But someone, if you, you speak with a British it's person. It's like when mm -hmm. someone asks you, did you go? You didn't go to the church. I did go. Te están to acusando, church. te están acusando. You didn't go to church. Okay. It sounds like that. Totally agree with you. Oh, this thing didn't. Okay, let's move on, guys. Tareas. Todos los días practicar esa estructura que acabamos de ver, el presente perfecto continuo. And we're, we're about to continue talking about the present perfect. 
Okay. Let me play the video for you. Please pay attention. Y si alguna pregunta te queda aún sobre la estructura del presente perfecto continuo, por favor, no te quedes con las preguntas. I beg you. Okay. Let's do it. Hi, we want you to go back to the previous conversation. Can you find examples of statements with have and haven't been? Now, we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Moving on. Present perfect continuous is a tense used for. A continuous of repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Ok, um, alguien, quien sea, por favor, ¿pueden traducir esto al español? El presente perfecto continuo. Eh, una actividad repetida o continua que comenzó en el pasado y continúa en el presente. Y eh, enfatiza la actividad en sí misma. Y su duración. Thank you, Max. Okay, very good. Questions? Questions? Veo muy callada Jennifer. ¿A quién más? Permítanme. Let me see who else is here. Así me pasa a mí con unas clases que estoy tomando todo el día. Somos 25 y siempre los mismos 5 estamos interactuando y es como raro, no sé. Uh, tengo a Jennifer que casi no habla, Nínive, Elvis y Patricia. Casi no les escucho, chicos. Ok. Questions. Si no hay preguntas, bien. Démosle. Self and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of these tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning English? Why are you tired? What have you been doing? What have you been eating? Okay, uh, no voy a decir en español porque necesito que nos apuremos un poco. Ya nos quedan siete minutos. Okay. Uh, por ahí me decían, teacher, ¿y cuál es la tarea entonces? No entiendo. Ok, uh, quiero aclarar ese punto porque es muy importante. Su tarea es ir al foro de discusión debajo de este video que estamos reproduciendo en la clase, en la plataforma. Colaborar en el foro de discusión contestando estas preguntas por escrito. Tarea número dos, contestar los ejercicios que aparecen en su plataforma. Ok, eso es todo. Lo otro que yo les he recomendado, recomendado, no es una tarea diaria que yo les voy a exigir. Es algo que ustedes pueden hacer para no perder la estructura. Si alguien lo ha estado haciendo, levánteme la mano. Le ha servido el para adquirir estructura en la tareita esa. Es bien sencilla, ¿no? Bien, Madeline. Very good. Thank you. Ok. So, let's see. 
how long have you been learning English, Madeline? I'm very curious, Madeline. How long have you been learning English? Your microphone. My microphone? Yes. Okay. How long have you been learning English? I was uh, studying English when, was, when I was te, 10 years ago. No, when I was 10 years old. Old, perfect. Old, yeah. Perfect. Really? Wow. Really? Because I like it so much. That's awesome. You're almost there and I like the way you speak. Thank you very much, Madeline. Okay, Adolfo, why are you tired? What have you been doing? I was working. Okay, try, try to use it. I've been working all day. I've, I've been working. I've been working all day. I've oh, been whole working day. the whole, whole day. day. I have, whole day. I've been working the whole day. The whole day. Yeah, okay. Good. Uh, what have you been eating, Ninive? What have you been eating? Mm, in the dinner. <laughs> That's the point. I have been... In, I have been... Tomatoes. The dinner beans with egg. So every every dinner you have been eating beans, eggs, tomatoes um, all day. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I have been been. Eating. <laughs> okay. You see, it's about <laughs> experiences that still happen until the present. Just the way Max said the same thing that Max said. This is an experience that comes from the past and moves on to the to the to the present. I have been I have been sitting here the whole day. I've been sitting here the whole day. And okay? you're still. And I'm still sitting for another two hours. And Oscar, try it. Okay. I had been studying English all the day, all the day. The whole day. The whole day. The whole day. Yeah. The whole day. The whole day. Okay, el día entero. El día entero. Si ¿Sí entendieron eso, no? The whole is entero. Okay. Y va, va con un singular. The whole week. The whole weekend. The whole day. Okay. Good. Okay, so please practice this. This is very important so you can uh, get it. You need to I'm going to leave you with a little example of natural English. Give me one second. This thing is stuck. Okay. I do have it open here. Okay. Hmm. I forgot about it. Oh, dang. Oh, my God. I forgot what I was about to give you right now. Any questions, guys? Mm. Tell, tell us about the phrase used in the video. <laughs> the what? The phrase, last but not least. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's a good one. Last but not least. But not least. At okay. least. What's the meaning? Can somebody tell me? Last but not least. Mm -hmm. This is a the, let me add this. Okay. Last but not least important. By the context, I translated last. So right now we're Por ultimo, about pero no menos importante. Exactly. Like right now we're closing the um, the class and I will tell you last but not least important. I would like to tell you, remind you to go to the platform, check underneath the video and add to the discussion forum and do your homework, okay? That's the meaning. That's if you say it doesn't matter, no. 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 Por último, pero no menos importante. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Yeah, but you, don't, you don't say you don't say important. It's just a way to say it. Okay. 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 Got it. Okay. Oh. You say no, you can manifest that in the in the letters. Mm -hmm. Get the hang get of it. This is another idiom. Okay, get the hang of it. Don't worry. I can translate it, but I understand it. <laughs> you will get the hang of it soon. A manejarlo or something Ooh, like yeah. that. <laughs> it's like saying you will get it. You will get the hang of it. Soon. Okay. Good. Ya le van a agarrar, pues, eso, es, eso quiere decir esto. Ya le van a agarrar la onda, ¿ok? You will get the hand of it. Ok. Agarra la onda. Get the that, hand that's, that's the meaning. Get the hand of it. 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 Ok. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye